Hey, it's Mike from Maker Moose here. In my last video with the Spring Bunnies Better Press, I thought I should make some backgrounds. I've got Simon Hurley's Egg Hunt stamp from a few years ago. I've got some dye inks here and my Bristol Smooth cardstock. I'm just going to do some ink blending here. If you don't have uh, background stamps uh, that are appropriate, um, you can make a repeating background with uh, some clear stamps. It wouldn't be so great for this particular technique, but like the embossing powder ones or anything like that could be really, really fun. I want this to look a little primitive. So um, these are water reactive inks. So when I spray some water on the stamp and then just apply it, it's gonna lift some of that ink. You could dab off any excess. I didn't, I just dried it, but experiment play. These Distress Mica sprays are from a Christmas release, but they're basic colors. They can be used year round. So I'm just spraying the two corners in blue and then one in red, one in green. I'm using a paper towel to dab off any pooled areas. I'm gonna give it a quick dry with my heat tool and then I'll set it aside. While this panel dries, I've just got a plain white panel on the stamp with some clear embossing ink. I'm just gonna use a brayer to get a nice even pressure on that. This is some clear embossing powder I'm adding to the top of it. I'm gonna heat set this and then we're gonna spray the same distressed mica sprays over top. I did learn that uh, this dries quicker than I expected. So you have to work pretty quickly. I was looking for paper towel and by the time I got back, it had already set on my first trial of this. So I'm gonna go in with the paper towel and just wipe the mica spray off of each of the uh, heat embossed eggs. Um, and it ended up looking so good the second time around. I can probably still use the original one uh, for more of a rustic look, but uh, it wasn't what I was going for. That doesn't mean it doesn't look good, but I had something in mind and so I tried again. And here I'm selectively adding the embossing dabber, which is a distressed product, but you can do this with, you can just do it with the edge of a pad or something like that. And this is something borrowed, I think from Catherine Pooler and Wow. This panel wasn't completely dry, so there was a lot of blue that I had to dust off here. Now I did keep this one in just as an example that it doesn't always go right. This playing around and experimenting is my favorite part of crafting. This embossing powder is sea mist. Now I'm taking some of the Nouveau Shimmer powder here and I'm just going to use a dry paintbrush to apply it to the dry stamp. So we haven't added any liquid or anything here yet. Uh, I'm doing each egg in a different color here. Uh, and I do also have some of the pink and main water gems that I'm using. I love their citron. They have some really nice blues and I'm gonna do a light mist on this. I'm gonna apply a blank piece of paper to it. And again, apply my brayer just for even pressure. You can probably get three, four or five impressions just from the amount that I added on there, just spray mist in between each one. I just did two because this is just experimenting. I have a box full of backgrounds that I still need to figure out what to do with. I love playing around with, uh, especially these shimmer powders on a gel plate, so fun. And this is a great tip. Um, whenever you have a panel that's got some water or liquid on it, like the mica stains, use your tweezers just to press down in the middle so that the colors don't run out on you as you're drying with your heat tool. So now I'm putting some embossing ink back on that stamp. This is, I've tried to line it up, but this is on the mica powder one. It is a little off here. You'll see um, where there's some white strips on each side. It's like off by like a quarter of an inch. Uh, I'm just gonna wipe some lunar paste all over it. And then I'm gonna wipe that down quickly with water to get that off the embossing powder. Uh, you don't want so much water that's gonna saturate um, the paper and take off the, uh, the lunar paste. You can see here, I'm kind of trying to go over just the eggs, but I think I did end up just wiping the whole thing a couple times. It's not even dry and it's got a really nice shine. So this one's my favorite. Uh, I absolutely love this. It's got the emboss resist and then the mica spray. This water lifted one is probably my second favorite of uh, the ones that I've done here. This one is my least favorite. Um, I redo a couple of these at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. I use the same technique, just change it up a little bit and choose probably more appropriate embossing powders. Uh, and then this one I thought was really fun, very folksy, like folk art kind of look to it. I don't even think I'd want it to line up perfectly like I had planned. 
I have four more panels here that I've just quickly redone. Um, this one is a Distress Oxide blend with the embossing ink and then clear sparkle from uh, WOW on top. With the Distress Mica Spray Stain panels, I did a silver, a gold, and a clear sparkle. The clear sparkle didn't show up well on the Mica spray. So that's why I redid it here with the Oxide background. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to have fun, play around, experiment. I learned a lot uh, of what I would use in the future and what I wouldn't. Please like and subscribe. And in a couple days, I've got a version two of my Magical Unicorn Picnic Shaker card uh, from last year that I've made for someone else's birthday. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it should be out on Saturday. Thanks so much. Bye.